Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So because yesterday we got that powerful message about numbers and receiving messages and signs and numbers, I'm going to bring in a numbers deck today. So we're going to use the Angel Numbers Oracle 101. This is one of my decks. We're also going to bring in the gorgeous Radiant Rider Waite Tarot and the amazing Masculine Honesty and Realizations by the fabulous Sandra Cole. So forgive me, fear. So fear has been released today. And remember later on, I'm going to be doing the DM to DF reading too. And I'm going to use the Silence deck for that. So if your Masculine is silent or distant or quiet, that reading will really help you to know what he's processing and going through today. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the connection today? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Here we go. And um, what's the energy, please, around the divine feminines? Wow, nine of pentacles for the feminines, so powerful. That's probably my favorite divine feminine card, even above the empress. What's the energy, please, for the masculine today? The energy for the masculine today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what do we need to know in the number sequences? Sticking out, lovely. The energy around the divine feminines, straight out there. And the energy around the divine masculines, what do we need to know? Wow, wow, wow. Just love it when the cards just come out and show you the truth and it's just beautiful. What's the energy around the connection today? They are giving me a block throat chakra. <clears throat> so there is some communication issues being healed right now. So the masculines can speak their truth and, you know, the truth can come out in all ways, in all directions of time, space and, you know, this energy and the energy around the masculine. So <clears throat> again, block throat. So if you're feeling that today, if you've got a cloggy throat or you feel like you need to cough, <clears throat> clear your throat, it's because there's a healing occurring in the throat chakra. So the energy around the connection today, look at this. If you feel that your masculine has been back and forth, okay, up and down, silent, happy one minute, sad the next, moody, in and out in their energy, then it's coming to an end. There's better times ahead. You're moving towards a new cycle. This is showing you the light at the end of the tunnel. So if your masculine's been playing around, playing the field, playing mind games, playing, in, you know, in his head and not communicating or just being back and forth, breadcrumbs energy, not giving you everything you want. Better times are ahead. The light is at the end of the tunnel. He's saying to you, I struggle with that too. And this is what we have to understand as a divine feminine. If the masculine is giving us breadcrumbs, which means a small amount of their time, a small amount of their energy, that's also what they are receiving themselves. You know, you may be giving more, but they are only able to receive those breadcrumbs too. And they don't like that either. They want everything that you want. You are twin flames. You are reciprocative in this love. So it needs to be an equal balance. And he's showing this to you. And this is coming in as we move forward. You know, this is the energy of June, July. You know, big changes occurring right now. And look at this. Changes in relationships. So the five is the change and the two is the partnership. So there's changes happening in your relationship. But there's also changes in relationships that are affecting your relationship. That means friendships changing. People are affecting you. People are affecting them. People that may be trying to knock you off your path or drag you down or put you into a toxic energy. This can be about changes in karmic situations. So if your masculine is married or with someone else, there's a big change occurring. Why? Because they don't want to be back and forth. They feel guilt and shame and pain. They know they've caused you pain. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to hurt them. And they certainly don't want to hurt themselves. And they miss you. And you miss them. It says, I miss you. Your body, your smile and everything about you. I miss our talks. I miss hanging out with you and spending time with you. I really miss you. And yes, we miss the intimacy and the love and all that spark. But we also miss the, the talks, the friendship, the way we share our lives with each other. That's what we really miss because it's the friendship that's the glue that holds it together. And the masculine said, I'm changing things now so I can spend time with you. 
because I miss you. I don't want to be missing you. I want to be loving you. I want to be holding you and kissing you and talking to you and spending time with you and sharing my life with you. And that's all I can think about right now. So we've got memories. I hold on to the beautiful memories of us together, including the first time that we met. Now, some of you may not have met physically. You know, you may just be having an online connection. You may be having a 5D connection. But the moment you came into each other's awareness, I call that the firework effect. All the fireworks go off and it's magical. It's powerful. It's supersonic. It's cosmic. It's love. And that's what you're both thinking of, the way it was and the way it could be again. So I always smile to myself when I think of the wonderful times that we shared and I can't wait to spend many more happy times with you. So smile today about this love. Feel good because better times are coming. Don't focus on the past and what's gone and the way you may feel like he's messed you around or hurt you or caused pain. There's a change in the dynamic ahead. And the masculine is saying to you, promise. Now the promise is the stag. The promise is the masculine saying to you, I'm going to make up for what I've done. I'm going to make it right. I'm going to prove to you not only that this love is real and we will be together, but that you can trust me. Here is my promise to you. I am coming home. Home is you. Okay, home isn't a, a building or a place. Home is you. I'm coming home to you. I'm preparing and doing what I need to do for myself at the moment so I can be able to come home. Why? Because he doesn't want to be playing around. He doesn't want to mess you around. He doesn't want to be hurting himself either. So he's promising you love. Changes in career. So we've got changes in relationships. And for the masculine, changes in career. So again, the masculine saying, I don't like my job. I don't like the work I'm doing. I don't like the time I'm giving to that. I want to change. I want to be better. I want to work on service. And we've got the number 33, which is a really powerful masculine number anyway. Love and support is all around you. The masculine knows that you support them, that you love them, that you allow them to be their authentic self, that you will be for their dreams, not against their dreams, dreams that they have about their life and their purpose and their career. And this is moving forward. We've got the chariot. He's taking control. He's making that promise. He's showing you the truth. Again, July energy here. We've got the lovers. So he's showing you that he cares about you. You are the one. You are his lover. And he wants a commitment with you. Big energies here. Hierophant energy. Lovers. Chariot. Big signs of positive change. So masculine showing you with the major arcana. He's getting this done. And for the feminines, we've got the five of swords. So understand that you will prevail that there will be a victory, that it's going to be okay, things are happening, all you have to do is focus on you, and this is my favourite card, probably in the whole tarot deck for me, the nine of pentacles is contentness, feeling good, loving what you're doing, feeling blissful, happy, content, feeling grateful, doing you, so do you, and look what he's doing when you were doing you, he's looking at you, He's staring at you. He's wondering what you're doing. He's curious about you. So trust your intuition, Divine Feminine. You know he loves you. You know he misses you. And you know he cares. And you also know that steps forward are being taken. Things are happening behind the scenes. Maybe you've been seeing these numbers and that's why. And remember, you're working towards mission. I now understand that you and I have an important mission here together. So feminines, you realise that everything you've been going through and everything you've been learning and healing and understanding is part of your mission. Because how can you empathise with someone going through something if you haven't been through it yourself? And that's exactly what you are learning at this time for your mission, whatever that mission is. I am getting ready to step into my power and make things happen so we can do what we are here to do. And that's feminine energy. So you're doing what you've come here to do. Steps forward are being taken. You're moving together. Trust your intuition. You know what to do. So big message here about mission. So, you know, feminines, if you've been thinking about making changes in your career, 
you are loved and supported. It's all around you. There's nothing to fear. If you've been thinking about making changes in your life, in your relationships or your circle of friends or, you know, people you spend time with, you are loved and supported and you are never alone. You are never alone. You have guardian angels with you, archangels with you, your loved ones in heaven with you. You are never alone. It's all a state of mind. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.